Why, hello there, YouTube. Welcome back to another lovely stream of Hearts of Iron 4 Great War mod. Uh, we have Austro Hungary uh, at our disposal. It's 1918, and uh, the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia has failed. So there's that. And we just need to be able to take out Moscow. Uh, we're, of course, streaming this, so. Uh, I always get the direction wrong. That way, you can see Twitch saying hello because, you know, they're polite like that. Uh, and we'll be continuing on. You might notice, by the way, that we have, like, a limited selection of music today. It's because all the music previously on the Great War mod, uh, it, it just flagged everything on Content ID, and uh, most people couldn't even see the videos. I still left them up because that's what Patreon allows me to do. I, one of the goals on Patreon was, like, I can leave music, I can leave videos up even if they're Content ID'd. Which was cool. But they limited them and I can't do anything about the limits, so they may have limited it so you're not able to see something that says in your country. If that's the case, well, welcome to the future. Right, let's continue on. First flight across the Mediterranean Sea. On September 1913. Yeah, I think the mod's been uh, updated since we last played it. That's a little bit late. Do you think there'll be a World War II if I win this? Eh, maybe, it depends what we're, peace terms are. As much as it says we're losing this front, we still are sort of winning. Mining. Why, thank you, mining. Hmm. What do I want to grab? We'll grab torpedoes. Uh, well, we should grab the heavy uh, artillery upgrade, since we are actually building heavy artillery. Upgrade my infantry template. Uh, the problem is if I do that, we'll lose a lot of the experience because I'll have changed all of the infantry. Um, and I'll lose a lot of infantry along the front line. The best I could do is make a new unit and produce the new unit only. Might be worth doing, actually doing that. Yeah. How's the production on them going? Effectively, stop building when you build the next unit. And then we can change the infantry unit next time we do build more. I know I've got a tank just sitting there. Um, that's going to go over here, of course. I don't think there's anywhere else it could really go, to be honest. If I take, uh, beat Russia, I need to take out Japan. Uh, only true to a certain extent. There's only a small border I have to worry about. This is World War One, after all, not World War Two. Massive effort, lovely. Um, that gives us access to sill fortifications at three land forts in a province in the state in Banat, or coastal defense. Dalmatia at three coastal forts. In, mm, where's Banat? Find Banat. Why, why, why would that be of any use to me? Dalmatia at least offers something. It's pretty terrible. Hmm. What's this? Oh, Poland becomes a thing. Send troops to Bulgaria to help. Can't do that. Limit trade with Russia. I'm already fighting them. Yeah, we could do like all these, like artillery effort, special forces effort. Extra research slot. I know what we're going for. We should have gone for that a long time ago, to be honest. Uh, let's go for construction effort. Uh, what about the next non-modded Hearts of Iron, when the next expansion comes out, probably? And I'll probably play a, a British colony, and then take them into independence. Because that's effectively what the next uh, expansion is about in Hearts of Iron. I don't imagine it's too far away. 
How are we doing in the air warfare? Yeah, we got some of that. Ah, that's what we're going to do. We were going to bomb the crap out of somewhere because that's what it appears the Germans are doing to get lots of war score. Uh, let's check our research into air warfare stuff. Right, we've got the airship already. So we need to do is start producing that in like vast numbers. Okay, we'll leave it as it is. And then... Put it to the top of the list, because frankly we need that. How are we doing for logistics? We're doing okay. Oh, god damn it. I think they should have that surrounded. And that's going to collapse of ease because they've got no supplies. Got another tank. I'm going to save the tank so I can get a little, like, lump of tanks together and we can punch through the line with it. I want to be able to make an armored spearhead. Okay, well, our navy is constantly bumping into enemy threats. A lot of them just trying to land on our shore. I've given up looking at those. Just give up, expect a nice peace treat, and wait for World War II. I don't think there is a way to really give up. Unless there's an event that does it. Dangerous naval invasion! Oh no! I doubt I have to worry about that too much. You know, I'm going to deploy you instantly. And then just put you into like a training group. Since all they lacked was artillery. Right, we did the Spear of Firepower because that's what chat wanted, didn't we? There we go, they're all trained now. Okay, um... Let's move them up to here. They're gonna have to punch through. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, we're going to have to um, change tactics here. Yeah, you're needed over here. <laughs> Some training rush here. If they survive that, the rest is going to be vacation for them. Yeah, I wish I could, but uh, sadly, I've got to go over here. Why is that so terrible? Just because of reasons. Their reserves are terrible. We could be able to defeat them. Come on. Get the tank out as well. Flamethrower! Yes! Flamethrower is amazing. That gives us so much breakthrough. Uh, improved light machine gun. Improved infantry equipment. Get the light machine gun. You should leave troops in German ports to defend against invasions.
How many biplanes have I got? Uh, like 200. Right, have we captured a... Oh, we want to capture that naval, but uh, that air base so that I can use it. Uh, got control there. Okay, let's put all of our fighters over here and then deploy them here. Construction efforts. Cool. Early support weapons. Um, tanks are way away. Light tank doesn't really give us much advantage. Uh, armored car, we've got... Uh, I guess we could do stuff like coordinate submarines or something? Not that this stuff really interests me massively. I guess we could upgrade some of our stuff. Seaplane carriers. Oh, we don't really need carriers right now. Subs, maybe. Let's get the Dreadnought 3. Okay, there we go. That shouldn't just naturally attack there. That made to tell him to do stuff. Oh, hello. Wow, that was a big convoy of Japanese troops that went down. Bloody hell. Fair enough. What are we producing in the way of uh, naval stuff? We've got convoys going. Probably okay for convoys. Um, a destroyer, protected cruiser. Dreadnought. In fact, let's get rid of convoys entirely because we actually have quite a few. Are we winning or are we getting pushed back on this front? It looks like we're pretty much stalemated. Holding over here. Field gun's going down. That's understandable. Heavy gun is still not up to snuff. We need to be able to get about a thousand before we roll those out. Heavy tank's actually going down. Motorized has gone down. Infantry equipment's gone. So basically, we're really, 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 really in trouble. Uh, yeah. Finish making whatever you're doing. In fact, cancel you. Cancel you. You finish doing what you're doing. Okay. We've got 11 airships. It's not quite enough, but we're getting there. I mean, a lot of the stuff I'm losing is because I'm doing, I'm pushing an attack that I really should have kind of stopped pushing a little while ago. Level 100 Gladius, 22 months. Thank you very much. How are we up? Two on infantry equipment. Way positive. Mad Hatter! Thank you very much. 16 months. Right, um, let's decrease the amount of support equipment a little bit more.
push on. I mean, maybe I could decrease the amount of airships I make. I think we have to stop this push over here. It's just costing us too much equipment at the moment. Spain, uh, send me stuff. Ah, oh, bird flu! Thank you very much. Okay, defend your borders, like your ports better. Uh, I don't know what to grab here. Got some very long, like, far ahead of time stuff. I mean, yeah, I should probably grab these. And you should definitely get yourself, uh, like, a general. And then I'll have to pull someone off of your rotor to go work somewhere else. Um, you. Anschluss Germany. I mean, that means Germany will get control of me, not me getting control of Germany. I want to go my own way. I'm going to go my own way. Go my own way. Come on, these flamethrowers got to help, right? Hmm. Not as much as one would like. I can sprint down here, can't I? If I get infrastructure three to get that extra slot. Use lower half of the front. I, I can't afford to at the moment with equipment. Anyway, we're kind of stretched over here, very thin. Welcome to the Empire. Mighty man, welcome to the Empire. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, I will get more from the Germans. Danke. Right, I've got dreadnoughts here and I've got dreadnoughts down here. I should have just put them into one block, but I didn't notice I had the two. So I will do that and that. Thank you, chat, for money me, and I'll close you. I'll get you starting to build up towards your max speed as well. Right, there's our other four tanks. Right, so if I put you over here, and then I put the four tanks over here, that should give us a lot of breakthrough. Oh. Set your ship production location to your main fleet, so the part of your main fleet. Wait, can you do that? Is that a thing? Oh, it's a thing. I did not know that was a thing. Right, let's just check the Navy. Right, what even are you? I have no idea what you are. You're another fleet. Okay, so what are you? You're my main fleet. Okay, so why don't I combine... Oh, you're in combat right now. Okay. Let's get you to go home. When you can. There we go. Oh yeah, you couldn't get home, could you? I'm just going to delete you. Right, then group these together. And you should be... Grand Fleet. Never repair. This server will decide to... Repair now. There we go. Automatic split up is enabled. So basically, they'll automatically split up to do that whole shtick. Convoy raiding. And then. Do, 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 do. Coastal submarines. I want you to join Hungary Fleet 2. 
I want you to join Grand Fleet. I want you to join Grand Fleet. I want you to join Grand Fleet. Free civilian factories. Oh my god, this is so weird. What do you even do when you got free civilian factories? It's just a strange, strange thought. It's so alien. $20 tip from Had Matt Hatter the first. Let's have the World War II hat. Also glad to finally catch a scream. A scream? Yes, you should catch a scream. Uh, thank you very much, Mad Hatter. Thank you so much. It's really kind of you. The World War II hat it is. Let's see. I think this one I can actually fit over the top of my headset, so that works really well for me. It's also a really light hat. Uh, do, 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 do. What else do you want to build? Not quite a few civilian factories. We kind of maxed out a lot of our uh, military factory placement, but we'll put more down. And also air bases. We've got loads on the front line there, so that's pff, that suffices. Uh, let's let's put some over here, I guess. Let's be honest. We're gonna need more resistance. There shouldn't be a resistance. <gasps> Lies. Why is there resistance here? There shouldn't be resistance. Where's my resistance? Anti-resistance people. Here, hello. You need to be on guard. You can't trust these resistance people. They are everywhere. There we go. I need more infantry, yeah, but it would be great if I had equipment for them, right? I'm having enough problems as it is. Oh god, this is expanding as well. I can't contain this. Look at them. There's 40, 34 of these little infantries in here. I've got them all at very, very low attrition, but they are managing to like use a light tanks to just about tank it. Oh, uh, literally, in this case. Um, how's the air board doing? Oh no, you sunk a destroyer? That's not allowed. And they outnumber us. Can we, like, increase the number of fighters we got here? To, like, 300? Match them? Yes, yes we can. Okay, and then over here, I would like, like, a million airships. Well, like a thousand. And then we're just going to bomb everything we can. I'm going to be honest, it's a dick move. But we're going to do it anyway. And then I would also like, um, honestly, like 500 fighters to defend them. This is going to turn into a massive air war. I can't hold this. Right, let's take some away from the Russian front temporarily. I say temporarily, right? It's not forever. Most tanks. I want tanks especially. Oh, we finally took it. Huzzah.
<laughs> it's a Zeppelin candle of a nukes. Using the same Zeppelin twice wouldn't work. True. That is very true. An astute observation there. Hmm. Okay. How's our production issue now? Field guns, we're actually getting up on. Uh, infantry equipment, we've got loads of. Heavy guns, we're slowly getting up on. Heavy tanks, we're slowly getting up on. Fighters, we need more of, but that's because I put loads out. Same for airships. So actually, just stopping, like, the push actually sufficed. That was actually fine. Which is actually a very much a First World War thing. You can't have a just constant fighting. Um, sure, we'll get that. Infrastructure effort. That should allow us to get the next level of research. Yoink. Oh. Isn't there a date attached to something? No? Requires one. Oh, it requires us to get armament effort. Yeah. Need bigger RT. Yeah, we're going to get the heavy RT. We're rolling out now, but the problem is that production takes a while to work up to speed. We've only got 500. We need probably about 1,000 before we can even think about rolling it out. Yes, I know divisions are still missing the support artillery. I don't have the artillery to really put in them. Actually, do I? I do, don't I? Temporarily, admittedly. But I do. No one get the effects of the press minority. Ah, that's a shame. That was really helping. Maybe someone like booed us at a play or something. It's a problem for any great leader. Um, honestly, this front is so much weaker than the Russian front. Everyone has super reinforced the Russian front to a point where I don't even know what it looks like anymore. Routinely check Greece. That is a very good idea. How do they even do that? Oh, I know what they've done. They've landed, but they haven't actually captured a port. And because of that, they're dead. They, they don't actually have any equipment. They can't do anything. Well, that was a silly landing. Normally, the eye doesn't take landings like that. Which is why I was a bit surprised. Uh, convoy raiding. I don't know if you can get there, but if you can, it'll be funny. And I like funny. No, you can't get that, so you've not. Okay, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Wait until winter and then push from Moscow. I'm not sure somehow that would be particularly good for us. I'll be, be completely honest. I'm going to put a small unit of my soldiers away from the front lines, just to crush that. That's Dreadnought 3. Oh, wrong one. I'm going to get maintenance company because I want to try and keep up the maintenance on the tanks. Okay, the bombing campaign is going okay so far. We seem to have complete control of this airspace here. They're moving their troops up and down here, although they haven't seemed to have taken anything. Bribe the Russian soldiers with vodka, but they have the vodka. Why could I bribe them with vodka? They have it. I'm not trying to get Moscow for the vodka. Oh, we might just be able to take a bit of land here. Come on, 98. Well, there we go, 100 we got it. 
All right, delaying tactics. Let's get mobile defense. And this is probably a good place to end this episode for YouTube, I believe. I think we've had a long enough for YouTube. So, uh, Twitch, say goodbye to YouTube. YouTube. Well, you could say goodbye to Twitch, but you'd be a little bit late. You could. Be nice. Sign, uh, sign the anti comitum pact. Definitely. But yes, uh, until next time, if you like, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Also consider coming to stream in the future because they're every f Saturday night, 8 p.m. GMT. Or not night if you're in part of the world that doesn't have night time, 8 p.m. GMT. But whatever. Until next time. To the Empire. Shuttle! Welcome to the Empire. Thank you for subscribing. And stay shiny. <laughs>